Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Um, this is going to be my branded deck profile for YCS Bologna. I dropped it X3. Unfortunately, last couple of rounds, I was XO for X1 for a long time. But unfortunately, Runic's done back to back with Fire Kings is the branded killer. I told you guys I was going to play branded and I did. And I think it was one of my best builds for this event. And unfortunately, sometimes it's not even enough. The deck is not easy to, to play at this format. Um, but I, I really think this list is great. So um, thank you so much for everyone who saw me in the venue and the event and uh, had me sign cards and took a picture. Love you all. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. It was so fun. And uh, here's the profile. So um, it's 50 cards. And I played three Albas, three Aluber, um, two Cartesia and two Quam. I wanted to keep a low deck count so I can access my side cards. I was testing f uh, 60 cards with grass for a long time, but it was just too inconsistent in terms of side patterns. You didn't see enough side deck and you need to see side deck. And I built a lot for like Tenpai because I was thinking that there's going to be a lot of Tenpai, which there were to some extent. Um, so yeah, I think this is fine. You have to play two Quem for the grind game and for the puppet. And two Cartesia is honestly enough. This is pretty standard. Um, honestly, one of your best cards. I can't believe we ever played it at one, but this card is great. Foolish plus works really well with the three um, high spirits, which are just incredible. And then in terms of Vistiel's, three Serenir and one Lubelion. Again, we're playing three high spirits because we need to play through Ash Blossom and through, Imperm, uh, three, through Impulse, which is just impossible to be honest. So you need as many dragons as possible. And this is like really good ones because this plus branded in white or just Cartesia is full combo. And with high spirits, it's also full combo. And uh, with Quem, it's also sort of full combo. So um, these are important. And then the extra cards. Um, mandatory because it lets you search and it's more consistency um, and it helps you like this is your best play under shifter this is also really good because with high spirits you can make this live to special summon um, a lot more frequently so if your aluber gets stopped then you can access a kit obviously which gets you to more brand fusion stuff gimmick puppet nightmare I think I didn't make it a lot in this tournament um, because you just don't really need to. And I think the biggest thing is that we didn't play Tragedy at all, because it's a brick and it doesn't, like you never have, you never not have access to Despias. You never need it, because you have three opening, three Aluberg, two Quam, three High Spirits. It's so many Despias, it's just a bad card to draw. And no Foolish as well, because it's just win more. Um, spells, pretty self-explanatory, one brand fusion, unfortunately. Three, three. I think this is the best bet to play as many high spirits as possible, just because it's uh, it's such a good extender and a starter, and it comes back to the hand. If you just need an extra card and you already have full combo, you just send this off with Quem, and you get an extra card in the end phase to the hand. Three deployment is obviously crazy, and then one in red, one white. Even though it's not sixty and not grass, this is your best play. I uh, I played versus Emre. Uh, from Josh's team. He played the Fiendsmith Kashira deck. I beat him 2-0 just because I had this card. I never activated Branded Fusion once in the match, in the entire match. I didn't need to activate Branded Fusion because you just have so many other ways to fuse. And he had just an Ash in his hand waiting and he never used it and one lost, obviously. And then a lot of non-engine because decks are hard. Um, three Thrust is still very good. Three Eclipse was okay um, when you're preparing for at least like Fiendsmith, Azamina, Snake Eye, and it's also a very good protective card to dodge Imperm and Valor and stuff. Um, so it was really good. Three Super Poly, there's a lot of fusions um, walking around. Um, it's either the Fiendsmith cards or the um, Azamina cards. With Mascarena, you always have something to fuse. My first match was against Fiendsmith Azamina, and I just cooked him with Super Poly both games. And then, um, 
three cosmics in the main it's just honestly so good against so many things whether it's tenpai whether it's fiendsmith whether it's just snake eye whether it's fire king you will always find a way to use this card going first or second it's always good because even centurion and stuff which was we were preparing for so this was really important because it's a board breaker and it's a very good card going first just to stop your opponent from playing because every almost every deck is like they start from sanctuary deception centurion cards they're all you can all you can cosmic all of them and it's just really good and then one for the mercurier uh when sometimes going second i would side this out with the mercurier one talent one called by and then the two traps um honestly this is it's a shame that fucking impulse is is a trap card because you don't get to use this a lot now and uh, you can't call by it but you still have to play these cards unfortunately um quickly over the extra deck you have to play two because this is one of the best cards in your extra deck and this is two and this is two for the grind um you could cut one mirror jade honestly but it's just such a good card just to make with fallen Balbas. and then um one lubelion one titanic lad one rindrum this is mandatory because this is a good way to play around dash blossom if you just get stopped and this is also what you make when you get shifted alongside with um light and darkness dragon lord uh it's nightfall nightfalls combo basically under shifter you end on these two in you have two two card combos that do it and it's just it's good considering you got shifter um if you don't play puppet you can cut this this is back to being a good card i always like this and this time it almost won me the game that i needed to win because if you don't know if you tag out um if you tag out grand to summon this this is not properly summoned and if they zelantis your board this doesn't come back and you get to activate the effect to summon fallen of Alpes from deck and they don't get to princess because you don't have a monster on board so if my opponent didn't have wanted his last card in hand i would have won that matchup Chaos, Star Source, Dragon. Um, it's a really good super poly target because it's any light or dark dragon plus a dragon. So, Flamberge plus anything, Albas plus anything basically, Tenpai cards and stuff. And of course, Centurions. This was mainly for Centurion because their end board is just like you just take two dragons, then it targets and pops two on summon uh, usually. So it's a really good supply target. We did not play Chimera because this card sometimes is just better to push into boards uh, rather than Chimera that kind of wastes more resources. You can even make this with Branded in White or Albion. You don't need to waste anything from the hand or field. Uh, and then one Furious, just more spot removal and Stapelia for the super poly target. You don't need Garuda or Mad Dragon. You just need Darks and Fusions. As Amina feeds with everything, you, you will find your targets eventually. Uh, and then lastly for the side deck, which I think was honestly my weakest part. Um, I was really scared of Tenpai, um, as you can probably see. Three Ash Blossom, and then three Fualos. You don't, I don't think you need to play Fualos, to be honest, it wasn't good. Um, the reason why I did play it was because of FTK decks like Ritual Beast and um, Mermail. It's just a new Dark World you don't want to be caught with your pants down when you're playing that deck because you will lose it was fine i barely used it though uh, you can use high spirits plus the fualos to send rindrum to the graveyard and search any card this is a winged beast so it's nice uh, and ash is good against tenpai and mostly everything i cited it a lot versus fire king as well um tenpai hate you can search these with thrust and this too this won me my matchup uh, versus um tenpai which was honestly very good and then, because the extra deck is only 15 cards, we need a bit more. This won me my round four, um, just because, you, you know, you just push into time and it's very easy. And this, it really depends on the matchups you see. Um, it's obviously extremely good versus Centurion and Tenpai. Anything else, it's not that good. Honestly, versus Snake Eye, sometimes if they end on Flambridge, you just set Albaz, make this. Your, your Alba Lenders can attack twice without activating any effects. So it's not bad at all. Uh, and this was it, X3. Unfortunate, but still, it was my first YCS. I had so much fun. Again, thank you so much for everyone who saw me at the event. Um, and uh, thank you so much to Tier Zero and Sleep Chief 
for helping me with my cards and, and my gear and stuff. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.